So these are gonna be part of my new hair routine. I actually ended up, um, I had bought, I, these were buy one get one free, and I thought they were both hair, skin, and nails, but one's actually a multivitamin. And like, there's stuff in it differs a little bit, so I don't know. I'm just gonna start taking them, just, it can't hurt. I was gonna do that every other day a different one, but I'm just gonna take one bottle and then take the next one. Um, I'm gonna do the hair, skin, and nails, because right now I'm trying to get my skin and my hair and stuff together, so I'm gonna start taking these. You take two of them a day, and then go from there. So, I'm gonna wash my hair today. I have to, I have church this evening, and I look a hot mess, so let me pop this ibuprofen for my back. It's weird, it's like into my back, into my hip, and it just, it hurts. It does this like weird, it's like this weird crampy pulley thing where I kinda have to like push my hip out to the side to get it to work, it's very weird. Um. Eli just woke up, he's on a potty, make him something to eat, and then I'm going to wash my hair, and I'm also going to try, wait, where are they? I bought these, um, Dr. Miracle deep conditioning treatments, so I'm going to try it because my scalp has been doing that, like, really bad peely thing, like, almost like, think of cradle crap in a baby, but, like, in an adult. So, like, it's coming back in my hair. And I don't know if it's, like, because the product I'm using or if I'm not, like, moisturizing my scalp enough. But I'm about to wash my hair. So, I'll check back into you guys. It is March. I missed the first day of it. I forgot um, when I went to, gosh, what is her name? Whatever. When I went to the Ladies Channel, she does March into Faith every year. And I think it's awesome. And I wanted to do that. So, basically, I'll be vlogging every day of March. And, um... Yeah. So, March into Faith. I have my devotional. You guys know that I read these on the regular. So, this is today's. And then I read, um, I'll show you guys the other one on my other flipboard. And I did read the devotional from our mothers. I just, um, wash my hair. I have conditioner on it. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit because my hair has been very brassy and hard filling. And that's because I haven't really been taking care of it. Um, but when I rinse this out, I'm going to use that treatment I showed you guys. And then let that sit. I think I have to put a cap on. I might even have to put some heat on it. Um, then I guess I'll get Eli bathed. Well, no, I think I'm going to clean up the room first and then get Eli bathed. And um, possibly hop in the shower myself. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with my hair exactly. So I don't really know. So it might just end up in like two braids just to be out of the way or I might just leave that treatment on my hair while I'm doing all of this because like the heat will activate it I don't know my mom disappeared this morning and she left early like she snuck out because I heard her creeping she didn't say anything so I'm hoping it's not two o'clock when she comes back here because even though I'm in a bit of pain I'm still I still want to go wash at least my son's clothes so and some underwear and stuff for me so I'm gonna have to go and do that and then maybe while I throw those in the wash or something I can run to the store and get some eco styler gel because I don't have anything to hold my hair down like so even if I put it in a ponytail I don't have anything to hold it down so I have to do that so yeah See, that's how much um dead hair I've had like that's not nothing compared to what I have had before but that's still a lot of breakage but I'm surprised it's not more than that because I've been really disrespecting my hair so hopefully for March I'm gonna be on top of it and y'all hold me accountable even if you drop a comment or a random video it has nothing to do with it just be like is you taking care of your hair <laughs> I appreciate it so I just got done restoring um one of my half wigs. I just seen it balled up in the corner and I was like, girl, let me restore that. Um, if you want to see the before and afters, then head over to my Snapchat. You guys can see that, but this was the half wig stunner. Um, yeah, cause you know, you know, y'all know my situation. So I don't got funds to be buying new wigs and all of that. So I gotta, and bundles. So I just gotta do what I have to do. I was gonna pull out, let me see. I still got my Dr. Miracle um, stuff on. It's been over an hour. I need to rinse it out. But um, 
Oh, it feels so good though. I recommend getting this y'all because it feels so good on your scalp. So I'm really hoping it did do something awesome. But um, back to the wig. Oh, that wig is stunner. If you guys want to see it, check out my Snapchat. Um, but yeah, I do have, I do have some Brazilian hair. But like, I just don't feel like wearing real hair right now because I'm still like, some days wanting hair, some days wanting to wear my fro. Like I'm just kind of in between. I kind of want braids but i don't really feel like doing them um so i'm just kind of in between hairstyles you know we just don't know what you want to do with your hair so i don't point at me doing that in permanent or even though that would be permanent because i put my bundles on on half on you part but yeah so yeah i've been sitting here doing that that was just kind of out of the blue i was just like let me see if i can revive her i'm about to wash these dishes put eli down for a nap clean my room and go from there it's actually almost one o'clock so I'm running behind on a lot of stuff y'all today but I feel good though I feel good I feel good <laughs> before I forget this is the um every flower that blooms has to go through a whole lot of dirt I thought that was like I thought that was such a, a great way to start this march into faith um it was very true you know, it's like we're going to have trials and tribulations in this life. And we should all um, know that, you know, it's just kind of encouraging and inspiring because it tells you, like, you know, you're going to go through some things. Like, you're definitely going to go through some things. But all flowers have to go through dirt to bloom. So it's like you're going to come out of it. Just stay positive, stay motivated and just push forward. And that's just kind of where I'm at right now. And I'm glad to be in that position. Sorry, I'm trying to check and see if I need to like, I don't feel like flat art my hair again. So I'm just hoping it doesn't frizz up on me because like I accidentally sprayed it with my setting spray. So I'm trying to like blend her in. All right, well, I'm about to get out of here headed to church um this was kind of a cheapy vlog but i just want to let you guys that i am going to do march into faith which is kind of like vlogmas but it's march into faith and it's going to be vlogs every day in march except for yesterday because i was late <laughs> but i love you guys thanks for tuning in and i encourage you to join along with me like this will be fun for you guys to do i'm still trying to figure out where to hold the camera so yeah bye So, I'm going to sit this, one second, I'm going to try to prop this while I'm, while I am here talking, because I think if I sit it here, this would actually be good, but I don't know how I feel about that being there for me to, um, vlog when I'm driving, but, um, I wasn't, that probably did help though, y'all probably can't even see me, hopefully y'all can see me. Cause I didn't bring my headphones, so I have no idea. But um, no, my mom just like so just vex my spirit, and she does this a lot. And I've noticed that whenever I start getting back into church, like real heavy, like and God starts like really dealing with me and really um, like just opening me up in the spirit realm and just dealing with me and then people like when I start getting like prophecy or like people are giving accolades or like something will be said across the pulpit or whatever when someone just shows attention especially like from the pastor or something my mom starts to act real funny and it's crazy because like she ain't been going to church like how like i go to church like she goes on sunday for like one service and um i've never said nothing about it i've never been like oh you need to go I've, I've mentioned something to her before like you know like you know you can get more out of it like you know what i mean like you can you can definitely get more out of it if you go during um the week and stuff like that i don't know what just happened but like i don't like having to step on eggshells like i don't like having to step on eggshells in my own house like if you got an attitude you're not going to talk to me my son says hi to you and you don't even speak to my son my son didn't do nothing to you you ain't got to speak to me but my son didn't do nothing to you and she'll do that like when we had gotten like to her the other day because all the stuff with my brother like we didn't get into it. i just told my mom i was like you know you don't need to be involved with it it ain't got nothing to do with you but she was like oh well can i use your car to go over there i said for what so you can 
get in an argument and something happens and I end up being stuck? No, no. I was like, you don't need to be over there. I said, I don't, I don't, you're grown. You can do what you want to do at the end of the day, but no, I don't want, I don't want my car on that mess. Cause something happens and no, I, I can't afford it, no. So I didn't get smart enough. I was just like, mom, that has nothing to do with you. And she got mad at me. And she didn't talk to me for two days. My son comes in and was like, hey grandma, 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 I miss you, I love you. She didn't speak to my son at all. Like, tell me that's not petty, y'all. Tell me that ain't petty, that ain't childish. Like, she did that. So, I don't like living around people like that. Like, it's like, why? Like, I gotta come home and step on eggshells because I walk into tension. I walk past you in the living room and you just see them until you decide that you want to speak to me. I'm like, that's horrible. Like, I, and people, if people, people have said that about me before and I'm like, that sucks. I, I, I'm sorry that I was like that because that is a really horrible thing and like I'll address it and she still won't say that and I was like I wish I would have said something because sometimes I don't know sometimes I do be like in my brain and then like about stuff and I won't realize how I'm being but like it's so y'all it's so irritating and I'm just so over it and I'm just I was like why would you do that when you see me in like a good space like in a good mindset like you see God was doing something in my life like working on me before service and then you just start arguing with me like who does that you know what I'm saying I was just like whatever dude like I was like whatever that's <laughs> whatever I'm not going to feed into that childishness so I was like I'm going to church and left her sitting there cuz ain't nobody got time for that so we about to go in here we're early I'm glad that way I can get on the altar get my mind back right for service you know, because it's so retarded. I don't understand why she does that. Like, I, I genuinely want my mom to do good for herself, to be on her feet, you know, to have her own house and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't wish for my mom to go through anything. And it's crazy. It be feeling like sometimes she really wishes me to do bad. And maybe she don't, but it just comes off that way. But like, I want my mom to be on her own. And it's like, I almost feel like she can't. Like, and I feel like my mom's gonna be living with me forever. And I've never been able to experience my home with just me. And it's not even about my son's dad or nothing, just me. Like, I wanna wake up in the morning and go make my coffee and sit in my living room and watch TV if I want to, or read a book and I can't do that now. Now I like so I don't wake up my son. Now it's like okay, I gotta go sit in the kitchen, which I don't mind. But sometimes I want to just chill in my living room, have my son play with his toys, or have my son play with his toys in the room, and I'm in the living room, like at my desk working or something. And it, it's hard because there's no space. And if we had more space, it probably would be better. But at the same time, I'm like I don't want to move nowhere bigger right now because i want to save money build my credit because i want to buy a house i really don't the next place i move i want to be moving into my own house and it's just frustrating sometimes and i feel bad because it's my mom i love her but like i've never been able to stand on my own two feet and i don't want to see her not in a good space and she talks all that but you don't you're on a fixed income things are expensive and she doesn't see it though like it's crazy like she never she doesn't see it but I don't know. I'm about to go pray. I just want to... I don't even want to pray in English. I just want to speak in tongues. And I just want to speak in the spirit. And just like... Worship God. <laughs> and I'm a crier. And I put all this makeup on. But I just want to like worship God. Because he's just wonderful. But thanks for listening to me rant y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see me. So this might not even make the cut. But if it did... Thank you guys for watching. March into faith. Okay, so what I learned from today is I got to pray harder. I got to pray harder. I ain't going to complain about her complaining. I'm going to just keep praying. And I love y'all. And I hope life is going good for you guys. So talk to you soon. Bye. Anybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>